Hello everyone! Trips on the water are often promised to be fun vacations, but the reality is far from the imagination. Today the idiots on the boat will prove you otherwise. Let's go! This is a long strike with this boat. Ohm, um, I feel so lucky because I have never encountered these impolite people. An unlucky thief was punished by Mother Nature after stealing a boat, but a rescuer saved his life. Don't try to challenge Mother Nature. The consequences are something we cannot predict. Do you believe that the boat doesn't need a driver and still runs in circles in the middle of the river? Please comment the reason below the video. He tries to drive his car to rescue the boat from the water, but I don't think his car is okay after this. There's nothing more pathetic than when you're sailing through mud, he must have learned a valuable lesson. It's crazy how the vacation goes awry when the boat suddenly and inexplicably catches fire. A great lesson for hubris when he deliberately ignored previous warnings. That was jacked up. First time coming out here, I barely got off course and I'm in this much water. Scratched my lower unit up, thank God I didn't break it. Dented my prop up real bad. Okay, don't forget to like the video if you find this video interesting. Women always love to take pictures, especially of such a beautiful scene. He certainly never thought that the person who fell into the water was himself. The person who needs to be careful is his close friend because all the crazy jokes come from him. Instead of cooling the engine with air, cooling it with water will help cool down much faster. man wants to experience the thrill of high speed rushing towards the container ship. If you can't fix it, it's best to leave it and that's how they fix the faulty ship. Summer without swimming is a waste. Swimming on a canoe is also a good idea. Enjoy the train ride across the land with strong men. Hope they're okay after the boat trip. I wish I could do like him. So cool. As long as you all have the same ideas and efforts, I don't know if you will succeed or not. His number of fish can only increase, it absolutely cannot decrease. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the latest videos on the channel. It would be hard to believe that the captain is a seasick person. Maybe the captain was just drunk. 
literal train ride. People with money often create joy in unusual ways. The guy in the white shirt completely lost patience when he saw the fish swimming by. Yes, a homemade fishing net is really effective. The boat's carrying capacity is two people, but not two of them. Can I call it a water dance? Looks quite similar. The idea doesn't seem bad, but the skills don't allow it. It seemed like it was a rescue, but actually, it was just the beginning of trouble. The worst thing about boats is the mud puddles. The scene was truly unsightly. The pontoon boat wasn't big enough for the two of them, which is why it capsized as soon as the fish tried to join the game with him. Stubborn people often have unsatisfactory results, like this boat. Thank you for watching the entire video. We hope you had some relaxing moments and found relief from stress with us. Let us know in the comments which moment impressed you the most. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to receive updates on the latest videos. See you again.